Ladies and gentlemen, oh, let's go. Holla, holla. Level up. Level up. Love star. Wellness. Level up. Damn good time. Level up. Life Podcast presented by Say What Radio. Yay! 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 Really wish we had a camera. <laughs> and you get on me for my intros. Yo, that, yo yeah, yeah, intros be like yo on ten. Yeah, intros be on ten. That okay, was, on five. Yeah, that was like a three and a half. That was a three and a half. Okay. Welcome to the show. What up, people? He is fired up. I'm Jenny. I'm I'm Jay. I'm Jay today. I was like, did you forget your name? No. You're going to be that guy again? I was like totally going to be that no, guy. No, own it. Own 100% of you, baby. Being that guy is 100% of me. No, no, no. I need you to be Jay. <laughs> I want Jay today. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? Yeah, we're just going to freestyle this one off the cuff off the sleeve it's been a very interesting week oh first things first i want to say what up to all of our uk listeners apparently we're killing it over there i don't know what it is that we do that you guys love but let us know and we'll keep it up well i think we're naturally gonna keep it up (laughs) because obviously like our weirdness you like our uniqueness you don't like the word weird our uniqueness touche I kind of wanted to kick around the topic, the idea of, if you guys didn't know about me and Jen, Jen's more structured of the two and I'm the more, uh, what's the word? Go with the flow. In certain instincts, I think we ebb in the flow in the relationship in that because certain areas I'm definitely more structured and you're definitely more go with the flow. Right. But when it pertains to work and stuff like that she's definitely more structured so we kind of found a way to work with that this week and all of the stuff we're doing and we're trying to do as you know content is king and we're trying to create content so we're like princes and princesses in this content creation thing and one of the things that comes across is video i have a love-hate relationship with videos like if it's not structured, <laughs> if if I'm not put into a timeline and fit into this box, you know, I'm good. But when you want to put me in a structured labeling time structuring box, I, I feel I don't have any words today. Claustrophobic. That's it. I feel claustrophobic. So it's challenging. And then it's kind of frustrating because, you know, she's like, yo, let's knock this out. And it turns into an hour and a half process until like it warmed up. And then I'm like, yay. And she was like, yo, where was this an hour and a half ago? So that's a learning thing. Well, but also I just want to bring a, a quick story in here to demonstrate the difference with video. So I prefer a one and done. I just want to shoot it knock it out maybe like max three like five if I'm really flubbing on my words I just want to shoot it straight through and we watched a video that I did in Palo Duro Canyon that's on my YouTube which I may or may not tell you how to get there because it is my maiden (laughs) name and you may or may not find it but anyways I was in the canyon I mean I shot it I wasn't alive (laughs) and I shot it on my phone and I was like there was bugs attacking me and I was like oh Bugs. Ah! Okay, I'm back. So, how's it going? Yeah, da 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 da. So, that's the difference, but I'm coming to learn and appreciate the skills of editing. But for me, the reason I felt that way is because I don't really like editing. So, I didn't want to edit all that stuff. I just want to do it. You weren't the one editing. Well, duh. Yeah, you edit. So, yeah, I'm saying. So, but then it takes all this time. I just want to (laughs) go. So, you could work on other things while I edit. Go. let's go i got shit to do which i'm not saying that that energy is even like it serves you at certain times but honestly it hurts you other times oh man so i said all that to say we're working on stuff and we just released not just released but we've launched and put in to the universe one of our initial first projects the thrive guide which we love we're biased of course but it's like all this stuff that goes into creating 
your stuff, creating your thing and the whole finding your voice thing. I even think with the podcast, it took us a while to find our voice here, but it was doing stuff and seeing how that stuff worked and seeing how that stuff didn't work and how it honored us and our schedule and just finding what worked. It's kind of like this with the Thrive Guide because it's this awesome project, but we have to find the thing that works to get it out there, to get eyes on it, and to get people like loving it. And of course, you being the creator, you being the one pushing it out there, you want to put it out there and have everybody, what did Julie call it? Like, you want to have that unicorn product. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you just launch it, you throw it out there and people are like, yes, shut up, take my money. They call it a unicorn product for a reason. But I think part of that, right, there's a couple of facets or factors or layers here that I want to add in is if you already have a warm market that sure. you've been working with, right. you can easily drop a product because, I mean, we dropped it to our warm market and people bought it really True. quickly. True. Right. But we're talking cold market where someone doesn't know you and that's even more where the unicorn stuff happens you know like where that's coming from because if you're dropping into a cold market on facebook ads or whatever wherever you're advertising digitally it might fall on deaf ears because you didn't find that right solution to get it right but those who found that solution and know the right people to target and etc to cold market and they convert like massively yeah that's the unicorn my whole point being it's a learning thing and I'm a strong believer in, I know you usually talk about this on your podcast, but I want to touch on it in this one, the stuff you were doing with Emily this past week. So all this is, is tied into it. That's why I'm, I had an end game in mind, but we're just kind of freestyling. She was like, what are we doing? I was like, shut up, put the headphones on, we're recording. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, I, to be honest, I'm sitting here and I'm like, where is this going? Uh, just, I want to know what's coming. Uh, nope, I got to nope, be prepared. Nope, just nope. so you know what's going on. Right mm, now. Mm, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is a free flowing conversation. This is well, all we always is. free flow, but at least we have an idea. Uh, yeah, like, well, I got an idea. Don't worry. Okay. I'm, just strap in. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Wee. So I'm on um, a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> so you want that to happen, but everything happens in its time. Just because we want it to happen when it happens, what, excuse me, just because we want it to happen when we feel it should happen doesn't mean that's the perfect time for it to happen. Like everything we learned within the past six months has drastically changed the way we've done business. Would you agree? Yes. And point being like this podcast thing, we started off with Facebook Live and that was kind of, it was a labor of love, if you will, because I mean, we get on camera, but it was setting up. We did it on a Sunday night, just a little backstory, setting up lights, setting up the camera, the yada, yada, yada. Well, that's when I still had a job too. Yeah. So it was just extra challenging to do it on a Sunday night because and then of- for you have to turn on the, or put on the work. Especially hat. eight o'clock on Sunday. It's like you're all revved up and then you got to like turn around and- Yeah. That was the thing. You know, people were doing like, you know- do it consistently, whatever, whatever, whatever. Audio is horrible. So then it was suggested that we, do, people always suggested we do a podcast. Mm -hmm. That was the thing. You guys should do a podcast. But if we finally did that, we were doing that and the podcast. Well, recording the Facebook Live. Well, especially if you heard some of our earlier episodes. Like <laughs> if you listened in the beginning, we basically pulled them from the Facebook Lives. Literally. And I mean, the, the reason is, is just think about repurposing. Right. Right. Like why not? If you already have content out there, right. why not share and repurpose it? And we've probably got what? 15, maybe 20 at the most, like episodes just sitting for us to use. But since Jay is uh, advanced all of our tech and audio since then, we, he's like, hell no, no we're we, we not releasing you, this. We want you to listen to us. We don't want you to say that audio sucks. What if, what if we dropped it out? It was like a special drop and it says, P.S. Audio sucks. Don't hate <laughs> us. You know, like, I'm really curious. Like, are people like, oh, I really like you and I want to listen to your stuff. I don't care if the audio sucks. I mean, you know. I know that like your heart would break yeah, with that. It would. It or would. maybe there's like a special place we could drop all like we could just maybe for funny, we could like put it on our website and put like podcast and then be like bad audio section, still good content. <laughs> Sorry. But hey, here it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but uh, not crazy. You I know, mean, I like... listen to people I like and their audio is not the greatest and I'm like, mm, but I listen to it because I want to hear their content. That's you. And, you know, different strokes for different folks. Okay. I wouldn't. Keep but, rolling. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, we've learned so much. And 
I want to say that's because we are kind of circled around the right type of people. Circled. Surrounded. There we go. That's what I meant by circle. Thank you. Okay. Surrounded. We have justice with the podcast. We have our business coach. We have the mentors with the other products and projects we purchase to further our business and what we're invested finding all my words today, invested in to further our business. And I definitely think it's paying off, maybe not as quickly as we want it to, but definitely paying off. Like even from this podcast, someone like reached out to to, connect with us and special teaser, this special person. We freaking love them. You guys are going to love them too. We're going to have them as guests on the podcast sometime in the near future. Just hold on to your seat coming soon. Right. That was a horrible trailer, but go ahead. <laughs> well, okay, look, we're going to have Johan on, and he's awesome. Shout out to Johan. I know you're listening. And we're going to be helping you cut that addiction to your screen, Okay. social media and screen. Uh, better better preview. Better and it's, well, because I was like, are we going to tell him yet? I don't know. Anyways, but yo, y'all, this going to be dope. It's going to be thebomb.com. I know that was a 90s saying. It's going to be awesome. The crazy thing is how it all came to be. Because he said he couldn't find a way to contact us. And he went to our product page, which has no email. <laughs> right. Because it's not the website. The right, point it's is, a sales page. It's, you, you get there, you buy the product. That's the point. Right. The point is not to You don't give all these distractions right. to go. Right. Yeah. The, the point is to lead you there to buy the thing. And did he ever say how he finally? Yeah, he ended up going to 2jhala.com and then saw the contact on there. Okay, cool. So he found us. And we're very particular, if you noticed or listened to, shameless plug, if you haven't, the Coping Through COVID series, that was freaking awesome. How did we find eight people to interview in their areas of genius or whatever? But we don't just pick anybody to be a part of this show, mainly because we don't interview people on this show. It's a regular thing. Yeah. Like we're open if the universe aligns. Yeah, or if we get an, a cool idea like coping through COVID where we want to do some kind of a series. But it's definitely not our normal right. type of thing. So he reached out and he was like, yo, I got this idea for like an interview or whatever. And we we're like, yo, who the hell is this guy? All right. We're looking at his stuff. And like initially there was a connection. Yeah. There was a connection. You know, some people, you see their stuff and you're like, eh, nah, not feeling it. Right. And me, I'm skeptical. Period. You sure are. <laughs> skeptical, period. <laughs> So checked him out and we were like, yo, let's get on the phone. Let's talk. So he's definitely a go-getter. Like Jen sent the email and I think he responded quickly, right? Mm -hmm. And got on the phone, usually Fridays when we record our podcast, but we took the time out to just chat with him because that's what we want to do. We don't want to meet people for the first time and just bring them on and then the podcast be all like weird and crazy and shit, right? So long story short, Got on the Zoom with Johan, chatted for, I don't know, it ended up being two hours. Yeah, pretty close. And honestly, we might still be chatting right now, days later. (laughs) Facts. Because we were like, all right, we got to go. We got to go. Yo, yo, it got so bad. The internet was like, yo, y'all got shit to do. And it just cut off. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm going to say that was the universe giving a nudge. Like he said, like it literally just cut off. And I was like, well. I guess that's all right. Time to move on to the next. So Johan is definitely, I don't know. I have a strong feeling like this is going to be like a friendship, a partnership that's going to grow and blossom because I'm very particular with the people I run across and the people like we meet with. But it was just an initial click from the start, which is, okay. we're vibing on the same frequency. This is going to be cool. So we're looking forward to that show. It's going to be an awesome show. I cut out. Him and Jen were still talking, going back and forth. It was awesome. So it's cool when you can have that kind of connection, especially with someone you just met. Like, Mm -hmm. it was like we've been friends for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was an old buddy from the Netherlands. We just happened to reconnect when we just kind of picked up right where we left off at, which is awesome, awesome energy, which goes into what I wanted to talk about today. I know that was like a hella long intro, but it's Jen like at her watches. Hey, man, just roll with us. Things happen for a reason. Like, that just fell into our laps, if you will. Now, diverting to Jen, what have you been doing this past week with Emily? Congrats on winning that hour-long coaching call. Yay. Woo. So a spiritual mentor of mine, 
She was on the Coping Through COVID series. Yep. Yep. She was on episode five. And she's my spiritual mentor. And she just held a free seven day awakened superhuman challenge. And this is going to be potentially something that you may have heard before, may not have heard before. And that's why I talk about a little bit more of this in the Life of Interest podcast. But I'll try to keep it not too woo woo and out there. So Emily is an intuitive coach and she connects with different ascended masters and and angels and guides. And she is able to provide guidance. And she's done this since she was a little girl. And right now she is helping people to awaken their superhuman. So the seven day challenge was really about how can we untangle from the systems and the programs that are around us in society and our lives so that we can really step into the freedom and not just the freedom of time, but like freedom to where you can really feel and experience euphoria at even the most smallest of moments. Like running ads to your thing and you're not seeing any results. Essentially, yes. But, you know, her example of just like a a moment of euphoria was walking into the store. She tells it a lot more robust than this, but basically walking in the store with her daughter and the floor and the steps and her daughter laughing behind, you know, next to her, even though with what's going on in the world and wearing a mask, she just felt a very strong wave of joy. So really, it's about using our discernment and using our ability to step away from things that may trigger us or fear that may exist so that we can really make decisions out of love and out of a higher frequency instead of decisions out of fear for our own life and be that leader in our own life and be that leader to others to be able to help them raise their frequency and live awakened superhuman. Sweet. So tying everything you learned, like being triggered with fear and making decisions in those moments or whatever, instead of stepping out, tying that back to like work situations, ours in particular with this week, for example, or we don't even talk about us. Let's talk about entrepreneurs, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you who listen to this show. Entrepreneurs, because I've learned so much in the past quarter, past two quarters that I definitely wouldn't have done like if we didn't learn so much, like something not working and you jumping to a different direction immediately. Right. We make knee jerk reactions to things. So like running ads. If Erica didn't tell us, you got to give this like 30 days, a few weeks till you see something. I would have been like, Jen, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like, let's cut bait and get out of this. Right. Yeah. So in that situation, and I think this is important, too. I think more people should talk about this because we usually see the shiny things from the entrepreneurs. We see the people who teach 6K in six weeks or 6K in six months which is like the glory and not the story, but talking about the emotional connection to that, talking about the struggle. I've seen very few people, and it might've been something you were watching, where a lady, she did something and she was on a home shopping network and she was like, her and her husband, it was the last thing, the last chance, last opportunity, last something. And she met the owner or something. I forget the story. Forgive me, guys. But basically, she met this guy before and she's like, I sell this or whatever. Uh, let me pitch it to you. And he was like, no, basically, you're not the right fit. Right. Mm-hmm. And then she did something. She was like, yo, we've maxed out our credit cards. We've done all this. And her husband was like, yo, if this doesn't work, we got to do something else. And then she got called back to the Home Shopping Network. And I think she killed it because there's this whole thing with the Home Shopping Network, but the stuff you have to do. Yes, they'll buy your stuff, but if you don't sell a certain number of units within the time frame, you have to. They'll pull you. Yeah. Yeah, It's like you get five minutes of airtime and you have to hit, I'm making the numbers up. You have to hit a thousand sales in the first minute. And if you don't hit that, they're going to cut your five minutes. So, long story short, she hit it, she sold it, she killed it, and she's famous now. And she met the guy again and she brought up that situation where they met before. And she was like, well, why now? Whatever. And he was like, well, you just weren't ready then. Yeah. But also, too, was part of that story where he is now an employee in her business? I think so. She hired him. You know what? This was the Kajabi thing, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She hired him. That story. 
See? She hired him in her business. See, I do pay attention. Good job. And tying all this in, because I know you guys are like, well, where the hell is he doing? But like meeting Johan, Jenny going through the awakened superhuman, all this stuff, the roller coaster trip we've been on this week with our particular situation. It was exhausting, honestly, because we were up late a couple of nights because when we were running our Facebook ads test, we were investing a significant amount of money. And so we wanted to make sure that any changes that were suggested from our coaches, we were implementing ASAP. Right. And so we would, and too, I mean, look, Johan probably came at a perfect time too, because talk about being addicted to your screen. <laughs> I checked my email probably 852,000 times last week. Looking for that, hey, you got a new sale Yeah, email. I was like, I would check, I would check, I would check, Just checking Facebook to see if anybody was liking or commenting anything. And honestly, like between staying up late and all of that, I was absolutely drained. And I slept so much this weekend. Because even last night, I know we went to bed late last night. No, we woke but up late, late. Went to bed at like one, woke up at 9.30. I mean, it's still eight and a half hours, Let's but I was it. knocked yeah. out. I usually go play volleyball on Friday nights and I pulled out a volleyball on Friday night because I was so wiped out. Yeah. Uh, the night wiped. before I went to bed at like 9.30 or 10 and I slept all the way till like nine. Yep. And here's the thing. Not a lot really changed with what we were doing besides a couple of nights staying up. But because we're entrepreneurs and this is what we choose, we let ourselves sleep the seven or eight hours. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, is the energetic output and the attachment to the outcome that almost made it. And I mean, I thought about this after the fact. It's almost like the analogy because I play softball. And if anybody knows baseball or softball, like, and even if you don't, you're at least aware with, of the sport. And I'll tell you that when you're up to bat and you're trying really hard to hit the shit out of the ball, you're usually going to pop it up to the pitcher or the catcher or wherever. Right. Right. And you're gripping the bat so hard versus if you take a deep breath and you relax and your hands are loose, mm -hmm. you can hit the shit out of the ball. You right. Hit a home run and hit it far and right. get a hit. Right. Right. And hit it hard. And it's almost like the same thing. I almost wonder if energetically we were gripping the hell out of oh, that yeah. bat last I, week I, yeah. that it almost in a way repelled. Yo, that's a good point. Talking to energy, but the switch for us talk about because you're the one who found Julie's podcast. Yeah. So we <laughs> like day two of that test. We were like, oh, shit. Let's go eat some bonbons and stuff. You know, like <laughs> it's time snacks. to go eat some snacks. All the snacks. Yeah. We were like. <laughs> In depressed mode, like, man, fuck this, yo, cut we, this and, test. Yo, we were both in depressed mode, which doesn't happen often. So. Yeah, it was, it was pretty rough. And then we were sitting there thinking, and then I was like, all right, there's got to be something that can pull us out of this. So Julie and Kathy, Julie Stone and Kathy, do you remember her last name? I don't remember Kathy's last name. Anyways. They, Ol Ol Olson. Olson. Doesn't matter, but their business is Funnel Gorgeous. And what they do is they make funnels and they help people with funnels and awesome. all that stuff. And they're really good at what they do. And they've built a multi-million dollar business. And Julie, she is like more of the content producer than Kathy. And so she writes a lot of like long blogs and articles. So I was like, there's got to be something about this somewhere. <laughs> so I started searching in their the Marketer's Heart Facebook group and seeing like, all right, I don't even remember what I searched. For all I know, I just searched depressed plus <laughs> funnel. I don't know. I searched and then someone was like, oh my God, this is what helped me because I was getting ready to totally post like a victim-y type post and be like, oh my God, like why us? Why is this happening? Like I was kind of like desperate, right? right? And I posted and then there was a comment out to like a blog that she had. And then someone said, oh, I listened to episode number 42 of hers, which honestly, that made me wonder if we should number our podcast like episode numbers, because that's how I found the podcast. If I would just scroll through her 200 podcasts to find the name, I would have never found it. Damn. And I found like episode 42, which was the one talking about exactly what we are going through. And we listened to it and we were both like, da, da, da. Like, maybe that's not the right word or the right sound. We'll go with that. Da, da. That oh, works too. Okay. Because I was like, what's like a superhero stand? Like, that, that's kind of, that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of one. Right. I'm standing here with like one arm on my <laughs> hip, like chest out, like, <laughs> no, like with a smile on my face. <laughs> we were like, we got this. Oh my God. But then the other thing too, and I don't know if you're going to make this Passover, is we were like, dude, this is what we help our clients with just with food. Okay. Right? Because think about those moments of desperation. That's definitely a good point. And circling back, doubling back, coming back to your energy thing about repelling that positive energy, sometimes you have to go through something 
to be able to help someone else out of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing to say you do this, but you know, if you've never been overweight, you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to help somebody lose weight. I'd be like, yo, what the hell do you know about losing weight? You look like you've been 150 your entire life. So how can you help me? You're speaking from a different place when you've actually been through it. You know what I'm saying? When you've actually been on the edge, getting ready to tip over and something like snatches you back. So it's a different type of vibe when you're talking to somebody and you can relate that. And they're like, yeah. Right. All right. So recapping this wild ride on the Jay and Jenny side, sometimes shit happens, man. Shit doesn't go the way that you think it should, but you have to be aware. You didn't touch on this. I'm touching on it for you. Aware of the opportunities, no matter how they may pop up. Because if you're so just like laser focused, as you always do with the blinders on, looking directly ahead of you, sometimes you miss all the stuff that's going on around you that can benefit your situation. So there's always opportunities, guys, always, no matter what the opportunities look like. We probably would have never met Johan. He popped up exactly when he needed to because he was talking about detoxing from your electronic devices screens. Perfect timing. If we kind of weren't struggling or if we didn't go through Funnel Gorgeous or Offer Cure, we probably would not know of Julie and Kathy and to look for that group and look for those resources to find that particular podcast to pull us out. So things happen for a reason. Things happen for a reason. And I know you might get sick and tired of me saying this, but you have to trust the process because there is a process at work. No matter what you believe in, whatever dogma you subscribe to, there is something that is happening behind the scenes that we can't see, we don't know about, but we have to trust it's for our higher good and our betterment. True that. So the Thrive Guide, if you're ready to hit health and fitness goals for good without a fad temporary fix or having to subscribe to products that waste your hard earned money, you guys should really check out the Thrive Guide www.2thenumber2jhala.com forward slash thrive guide, all one word. And this bundle is a do it yourself approach that is basically going to help you get out of fad exercising and dieting. And it tunes into your particular life, your particular lifestyle, and what you want to do. We have two people who are working in our other program who started off with the Thrive Guide. And these ladies are getting, I would say, amazing results for the couple of weeks. They might not be mind blowing results to some people, but to see how they're embracing the change and implementing in their life, I'm looking forward to what else they're going to be hitting us with. Agreed. So, all right, guys, that is our show. Mahalo for tuning in. UK, cheers. Everybody else, tune up. Tune Holla. up. Holla. You can subscribe to the Holistic Life podcast from your favorite streaming platform. And don't forget to check out 2jholla.com to stay in the know as an official 2JH insider. Mahalo for tuning in. And until next time, that's our show.